Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be capturing an unusual target uh, in this video, which is the Cat's Eye Nebula. Uh, it's the new general catalogue number 6543, and it's quite a difficult target because it's got some core details which are easily blown out, and um, I've actually struggled a little bit with the editing, but done a bit of work, and uh, I've called in the help of a friend too. So. Hope you enjoy the video and more importantly, I hope you enjoy the image at the end. My name's Glenn, you're watching Astroblog. I recently saw some images of the actual core of the Cat's Eye Nebula online recently and that's what sparked my interest into the object, uh, the target itself. Um, but I noticed uh, there's some really beautiful images, uh, very intricate and it's very uh, unusual and interesting. Um, but what I noticed was a lot of the really detailed pictures had used uh, Hubble data, so that had been integrated within some of their own data, or the uh, process had just been done just purely with Hubble data. Now obviously I don't own the Hubble Space Telescope, but I do have a rather good telescope, which is the Orion Optics uh, UK CT10, which is my 10 inch Newtonian. So I'm going to have my two 600 uh, mm pro camera on there and I'm going to be running a set of three nanometer um, Altair Astro filters um, and I'm going to hopefully capture this uh, lovely target and I think I'm going to be doing it in HOO um, for the main image and then some LRGB subs for the core um, the core is going to be difficult. I think we're going to have to take some really short subs and see how it goes on. But um, I'm going to do some imaging tonight and see how I get on and uh, see what I can come up with. So uh, keep our fingers crossed that the night stays clear and I get some good data. So I'm here at Astra Blokes Village. Here we go. So Glenn's in here somewhere. This is his man cave. And uh, here we go. Hello, Hello. Glenn. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Nice to see you, Si. Yeah, nice. Come in, sir. Look at this. Look at this man cave. Wow. This is the ultimate man cave. It looks, to be honest, a bit more like an, uh, like an astrophotography shop. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does a bit at the moment. There's a lot of kit about. Did I show you my eye window, Simon? Um, I have seen that before, yeah. This is rather good. Because I was going to put a window in, wasn't I? Yeah. And then I've gone for the I've gone for the eye window instead. So there's your observatory. Nice. <laughs> and we can um, we can we can do lots of things from here. Wow. Well, Everything's this gear. remoted. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> you can go in if you like. Nice. Oh, here we go. Find your head. This is the famous Obsi. The Astro Blade Obsi. That is a beast of a scope. It says E10 on the EQ8. Did I tell you what my plans were? Yeah. So that, that rig there is going to come over here. You're going to swap it over there, yeah. And that's going to go over there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So the main reason is because that's east facing that way and that's south and 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 the, the target seemed to be the lowest in those areas for right. me to capture especially to the south and of course being so close to the wall it's restricting my view whereas if it was back here I'm going to get a much like yeah. be able to get a lower angle yeah. and a much better angle so I'm going to definitely move it over it's just a bit of a it's about yeah. an afternoon's work. Let's it is, that. yeah. It'll be an afternoon's work. It'll be worth it though. Yep. Yeah. This is nice, sir. Uh, 
Nice little man cave here. My little look, my little my little locks. Yeah, yeah, I know about them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They work they work really well actually. They yeah, give me a bit of peace of mind because I know yeah. that if li if it should lift it's not gonna go anywhere. That's right, it's not going anywhere. I mean look at the size of it. That's why a ton. No, I don't weigh that one. It weighs enough. Yeah. Oh well, that's lovely mate. Right, let's um go and talk some rubbish and drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> hello mate, how are you? Well, I'm really good mate. So uh, I thought I'd come along and say hello and see how you're getting on with your man cave. Well, it's uh, getting very busy in here, but uh, loving it. It's a great space. There's so much gear in here. It looks more like an astro shop to be honest. You've got yeah. stuff everywhere, scopes, cameras. It's getting a bit like that. This but, is the uh, ultimate man cave. It certainly <laughs> is. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's working yeah. out really well. Everything's yeah. going good. Um, it's great. Although the weather's been a bit Bit, bit, bit bad lately. It's been horrendous. There's floods again coming over yeah. here. I'd have drive through some floods. I know. We're not going to get any astro done any anytime soon. It's been a bit rain, tough. clouds. has been it's been it's been hard. Definitely, definitely. But, but uh, it's all working really well. And how's it going at your end? Is it you're obviously all good? Uh, yeah, it's, it's now working with Nina. It's really great. I'm loving it. Um, the weather station's next, but that's that's yeah, another, no, no, that's no, another no. story. Working on that. Um, Andy actually rang me earlier. Uh, he's been yeah. we've been chatting and he's been working on a cloud sensor. So oh, hopefully be interesting. we'll get that. You so know, that's, that, that's a nice then. thing to have. That's a really good sort of little bit yeah. of safety. You know, it means you can put your head down at night and uh, yeah. you know that if anything bad changes, you yeah. obviously going to shut. But it's uh, always a worry, isn't it? If if while you're asleep, it starts raining. It's just that little <laughs> thing, especially at the moment because it won't stop raining. But yeah. um, what have you been? What you been um, working on? Anything well, good? Well, yeah, I've actually been doing the same as you. I've been working on the cacti nebula. Oh, yeah, I've managed to get some out of detail. But I've not had any luck with the core. No, I um, it's, it's a I tricky see, one to image, isn't it? Yeah, you can see from the edit. I've managed to get the little peaks because I know it's not a circle in the middle. It's a sort of a spirally thing. Yeah. Um, but I've not got detail there. It's blown out with the outer core, and yeah. I really would like to get it. And I, I don't know if you've seen, but I've got a picture of it here. Um, but this is what Hubble wow. took. I don't think ours are going to look like that, Glenn. No, nor do I. Um, I mean, that's, that's a lovely looking really, image, but it's fantastic. Um, um, that's and I'd love you. to get. I mean, I don't think I'm not going to get that level, no. but I'd love to get some kind of detail showing in the core of what's there. Well, if we put our data together and worked on the core, perhaps we can. Um, Maybe if if we do some short sub lengths like RGB, ten seconds just, or something. Just work on. Just the work core, on the core because yeah. we've both got some um outward detail yep this, if we were to work together on the core maybe we could you know get some detail in that core yeah i reckon so i mean what have you been using on it your i'm spree? on a spree 120 at 840 right okay so um i've got the ct10 at 1200 but i've been yeah. using the 2600 camera for most of the capture yeah i'm i'm on the 2600 as but well i've got the 533 one shot color and i'm thinking right. if i put that on yeah a it brings me cropped in zoomed yeah. in yeah it's closer to the core but i could also do really short subs with that yeah and uh and see what detail it brings out well let's give it a go mm. i'll try some rgb say 10 second subs okay um see what we can get yeah it's worth worth a try isn't it's it? definitely worth uh, a try you know that's uh that 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 definitely be nice to do because I have seen some with it in, but and I'm without being unkind, I don't want you know, but it looks like sometimes yeah. it looks a bit in, like embossed on top, and I want to try and make it look as natural as possible. I've seen a few on Astro Bin, yeah, um, and but, I think they've taken the Hubble data, some people have not saying everyone, and yeah. they've sort of integrated it in, which is you know, that's what it is, but I'd like to have it as. It gets some nat nat natural it. core detail. Mm. Well, we'll give it a go then. All right, we'll do that. All right. I think what we really need to do, though, is go and have a coffee. Sounds like a great idea. Because that would be rude not to, wouldn't it? It absolutely would. All right, okay. Yeah. Let's, go and, let's go and get the pot on, and yeah. then we can uh, chill out and uh, have a little coffee. Sounds like a plan. All right, good. <laughs> 